Good afternoon, morning. Yes, definitely morning. So, <clears throat> by myself today, we're on the railway. My cold's easing up. Um, I think for you, it'll be just after Christmas or right around Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. Hope you've had a good one, or hope you're going to have a good one. Cover all bases. Um, for me, Christmas is about three weeks away, so <clears throat> yeah, we're going back on the railway tip. Got to work in those bankings on the top end, see if anything nice pops out. Um, a little bit of history about this place. So, I was talking to a local last time I were on, and she told me that um, when this was an active railway, there was a cottage up here. Um, and it was manned very, for many years by an old cottage worker, uh, railway worker, lived in the cottage. And he kind of uh, acted as a caretaker, if you will. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that we're finding in this tip probably would have belonged to him. Um, you can see the remains of it just behind me there, in the tree line. So that explains why there's like pine trees just mixed in randomly with uh, the normal deciduous ones. That was probably his garden back there. After they took the railway line out, <coughs> they've uh, just spread around. So yeah, I don't know if you can make that out. Just in them trees. There's a, a pile of rubble, a pile of bricks. And that was part of his property and his property went onto this little area around behind me there and the tip's just here so yeah quite interesting to know really but I've looked on maps and I can't I can't see a cottage or anything built here only that tiny little outhouse and that's not big enough for a house cottage which is very strange so unless it weren't registered it were part of the railway company buildings who knows anyway Got to get back on, got to wear these bankings, and I'll see you on the first bottle. Right, so I've had a try the bankings, and uh, there's not much left. So I'm going to finish off this tree root system that I dug. Uh, this was a bit of third time attempting it after it kept collapsing, but it looks a bit wetter now, so it should be compact enough. It's going to go into it, back into it, and see what I can pull out. The first shovel full. We've had a biserate of magnesia. It's white glass, but it shows his bottles in there now. A little perfume, a weird little perfume on. And a lovely, lovely aqua with a bit of label still on it. Uh, it's an early neck on that as well. It's not machine made. So, it's promising. Let's get back in and see what else we can pull out there. Eh? Right, so I'm going to move. <coughs> I'm going to move on. I'm going to have a do back up that top end where uh, all the minerals were coming out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll show you what we've had so far out of this hole. It's nothing much productive. It's just the usual stuff. We had a lovely little cream bottle. Rich cream, Smiths, Smiths Dairies. Uh, two Milton's. We had a lovely. Aqua panel, a nice little medicine, but it's machine made. You've seen those already, those three. A little black and ink pot, and we've had this big piece of copper. Thought it was a spinning topper first, but I think it's just like a finial. Would have sat on top of, top of something like that. But nothing I need there, I'm not taking anything from there. Um, I can't get down to my original layer, it's just, every time I touch it, all oh, this is just claving in, it's just dropping in, because this is backfill from that hole over there. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not going to waste any more energy on this one, we're going to go on that one, and uh, I'll see you on the next bottle. So, first bottle out, is a lovely aqua panel. Uh, 
Nope, it's not machine made. Early neck on it. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this fresh that me and Ricky found last time. I'm just opening it up in front of me here. Open a bit of a hole up, get down to the face. And uh, see what comes out. So while we're on, I just uh, want to say thank you for all the subs again, all the uh, comments, all the likes, people that tune in to watch the live streams or the premieres, sit around in the comments chatting, it's all appreciated. Yeah, getting a nice sort of uh, a nice sort of community going. At a minute, and it's good. Um, all the diggers, all the larkers that are on, join in, have a nice little, a nice little chat on a Thursday night. Ponds. Um, just over here, literally like three meters away, is where I had that really nice Nelson. Um, <clears throat> aerated mineral water and I also had that poison right next to it um, and a half a cod so somewhere in this mound under this tree or bush or shrub whatever you want to call it could be some good stuff it's just uh, it's just getting down to it um, Sunday we've got a plan I think we're going to meet a new bottle digger he's already been so he's only been at it a few weeks. So me and Ricky are gonna go down and uh, have a dig with him. See what he's always like. He's pulling some nice old gear out, so he can uh, probably let him keep the lion's share, whatever we find. Wouldn't mind just taking a couple of cods or maybe some like that. We'll see how it can out, eh? Great, uh, two minutes of me jibbering on. I'm gonna turn off and crack on now, all right. All right, so, them bankings at the top weren't really doing anything at all. <clears throat> Didn't have a single bottle out. Um, so I've come down back into the bottom. That's my tree root that I was digging earlier on today. I've come down into this little fresh patch. Um, I'm just getting through this really soft overcapping first, and I've had a few I've had a few playing bottles out, I've had an amber poison, uh, not an amber poison, sorry, medicine. I play an aqua panel, and then this was a third one to come out. This plane, machine made, not to be taken. I might just take it, put it on Etsy store. <coughs> it might sell, it might not. Uh, yeah, the Etsy store is live, by the way, so go and check it out. I've reduced all my prices. Um, I know the cost of living and stuff is going through the roof, so charging seven, eight pounds for a bottle uh, might be a bit too steep, so I've knocked them down a bit. <coughs> yeah, go and check it out. Right, let's crack on it. So I'm uh, just widening this all up. Just had an element's embrication. It's white glass, it's not what we're after. But uh, I'll put it on the pile anyway. And uh, we'll keep digging. I've just got it's the same, and there's a few more bottles I can hear. So let's get them out. Let's see what they are. Well, it looks like we're finally getting onto the bottles. Just out of that corner there. Just had this a little juice being brown. It's a crown top, but it's a three part mold. You can see the seam line going up there. Next being took on. Uh, yeah, not a bad little bottle. It's aqua, and uh, as we're getting in on one, I can go on the pile. Let's keep digging out. Right, so <clears throat> nothing much going on today, but I thought I'd just come back into this little bank, start digging it out. 
and that's just falling out at the top. I've not looked at it yet, <coughs> so let's have a look at it together. Sorry, that's why I get you on a level peg in. Oh, it is as well. <laughs> it is as well. It's a... Uh, Here's an amber masses, quarter pint in amber. Oh, that's made it worthwhile. <clears throat> Look at that neck on there. That's beautiful. And another one for the collection. I do have an amber one, but it's uh, an internal screw thread and it's a bit bigger. It's a half pint. This is a quarter pint. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the... Uh, Embossing there, really nice, strong embossing. Pictorial's nice and strong. Yeah, I like that. Well struck. A well struck bottle. Uh, right, well, let's see if there's any more under there, eh? Awesome. Spend my day at that. Made my day. I literally have three bottles in a bag that I was taking home. That's just made me chuff. Four bottles, I don't mind. Cause that's a beautiful bottle and uh like i say it's another it's another amber in the massive collection so bob on right let's crack on so i'm excavating this big iron wash basin whatever it is that's just falling out from underneath it studying aqua but oh, i thought it would chip it's nice a flaw in the glass yeah, it's in the glass. Really crudely made. It's early. No marking on it though, which is a shame. And uh, a big light. Aqua. I thought it were a Scots. It's exactly the same shape as a Scots emulsion, but no writing on it. So they might make it home. We'll never know. Right. I'll get this out and then we'll see what's behind it. Oh, and we've had a, a really nice glass stopper as well, but it's still stuck in there, so I'll take the whole thing. Yeah, so... Sorry about that. See you up in that tree. Where's that? There we go. Yeah, so there we go. There's a. Uh... <laughs> Dogs. That. <clears throat> anyway, there we go. Right. So, yeah, five bottles. I'm going to stop her. Take home this week. Nothing mega, but I'm really happy with that. Masses. That's made my day that. Um, I've got the exact same one in green that Ricky gave me last week. Yeah, sorry, not last week, two week ago. So, got a nice matching pair now. Um, we'll get home, we'll clean them up. Um, I've restored the Jubilee Cup, not the Jubilee Cup, the Coronation 1911 Souvenir Cup. <clears throat> Just waiting for the ammo paint to dry now. And I'm in the midst of this, uh, restoring the porcelain ink pot. So I'll stick them on my Instagram pictures when they're done. Um, I won't do any film. Just uh, if you want to go and check it out, it's Lancashire. Oop. Lancashire underscore lad underscore 1980. And you'll be able to see pictures on there. And uh, yeah, that's me done for today. We'll uh, go home and get some lunch, have a nice brew. Oop. Good job I caught you then, isn't it? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, and we'll call it a day. I'll see you on the cleanup. Take it easy. So welcome back to the cleanup guys. So this is what made it home. Five bottles in total and a glass stopper, I love a glass stopper. So let's go through and we'll start at this side. We had that little clear not to be taken. Um, I don't usually take clear glass but I've not seen a design like that. It is machine made. You can see the seam runs right to the top but 
as far as poisons go that would have had a cork in so it's quite an early white glass and it says on the bottom Thorpit Hmm, not to be taken. Then we have that lovely square top glass topper with a ground, a ground lip. Whatever was inside, it's like a green dye, and it's uh, yeah, it were hard to it were hard to clean off that. To be fair, then we had the uh, juice brew and brown, lovely, lovely bottles. Those oh, Manchester people chuck them back because they're quite common, but I like I like the design me. With the, uh, he'd had a crown top on there, you can see that. Just a plain old aqua panel. I took it because I like the shape of the shoulders there on top. That rounded, rounded look and it also had a double a double lip. And then we had the flask, but it's uh, it's got a bit misty inside, so I'm going to have to clean it a little bit more. It will clean up fine, that. Just had a quick scrub. Love a little coffee flask. And then the start of the show is that little Massey's quarter pint, quarter pint beer bottle. Now it does match the one that Ricky gave me. Exactly. But it's in green. So now I have a matching pair, but I think I'm going to give this one to Ricky. He's been after an amber one. He, uh, he found three halves when he was digging. Or with the neck broke off, so please give me a green one. And I've already got the amber half pint and an aqua half pint. And I'm pretty sure there might just be one more of these little quarter pints on there. So yeah, stunning bottle, really nice pictorial, clean. Yeah, and that's it for this week's clean up, guys. So. If you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe, leave me a comment, share it about if you don't mind, um, hopefully a few more people will pick it up and uh, I'll see you on the next one.